The former girlfriend of capital murder suspect Cedric Marks and the mother of one of the children took the stand for the second day in a row during his capital murder trial today. That's right. Maya Maxwell is also facing criminal charges in the deaths of Jenna Scott and Michael Swearingen. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire joins us live outside the Bell County Courthouse with the latest. Earl. Adam M.G. Cedric Marks' former girlfriend, Maya Maxwell, testified in court this morning that she has taken a plea deal to share how she allegedly saw Marks kill Jenna Scott and Michael Swearingen. Maxwell's plea deal is to serve 20 years with a chance for parole for two counts of tampering with evidence. During Maxwell's direct examination with prosecutors, Maxwell says she initially lied to police saying her and Marks didn't go to Texas. Then she said they came to Texas looking for an action figure for Marks' son, having nothing to do with Jenna and Michael. Maxwell then said she went to police to tell the truth. She did a nine hour interview with Temple Police Department Detective Corey Powell and Detective Ashley Cunningham telling everything she could remember. Maxwell admits she was scared telling law enforcement the truth saying quote, I was scared because I knew once I did that, Marks would know and I wanted me and my son to be okay. I knew Janelle was loyal and would tell Marks anything. Maxwell mentioned how law enforcement did a good job in keeping her safe. Maxwell also testified in how she worked with law enforcement, remembering details while in jail. Maxwell admits to Mark sending her letters while in jail. Maxwell says legal mail envelope with an attorney's name on it, but it was a letter from Marks. In the letter, Marks gives her the option to keep lying and be another jail story losing her son, or to go through his attorney and feist the case together. This morning, Maxwell did still seem to be a little shaken and nervous speaking in her testimony, but later on at 6, we're going to hear from Marks in his cross-examination with Maxwell. But for now, live in Belton, Earl Stoudemire, Fox 44 News.